this is Kepler. This is my ex Metropolitan Police riot van that I've lived in for about five years now. And as you can see, he is not in the best condition anymore. After five years of living on the road, working from the vehicle, it's taken its toll. But one of the major upgrades that I'm doing to Kevlar is painting him. I've never minded the color or anything like that because it's a box on the back. It's always matched the front part of the vehicle. So it's always kind of looked good. But what I want to do is put some Raptor paint on him. So I have spent quite a bit of money buying quite a lot of Raptor paint because it's a big vehicle. And hopefully in the following week, Kevlar will be getting a new color. Right, it is eight o'clock, bright and early. I am just heading to my storage unit to get some bits and bobs and screw fix as well to get some bits and bobs. But today is the day that we are once again taking Kevlar off the road and this time it's obviously to do the painting. Um, yeah, so I think today we're going to maybe try and get the front wheels off, get them prepped for spraying. Well not spraying actually, painting, because we're painting them with the black Raptor paint. And I'm going to start getting the bumpers off and all the plastics, headlights, etc, etc. Uh, I think Rachel's going to crack on with getting the wheels prepped. I'm going to show her how to do it. Uh, going to probably be learning how to use this Raptor paint today. Uh, a bit nerve-wracking, not going to lie. Yeah. Exciting day. Very exciting. Where's my knee in? I feel like I've failed a little bit with the um, filming today because every time I've set the camera up it seems to have just tilted downwards and not really captured anything but let me let me show you what I've done as you can see right behind me took the bumper, the lights uh, I feel like that's it but there is a lot more to it <laughs> um, bumpers, lights, grill everything like that is off the front down the side here, wing mirror off, however, I can't disconnect it, I don't know why, there's not just a quick little disconnect here, obviously they're electric, so you think there would be, uh, so I do need to find a proper way of hanging that up. So yeah, all of these plastics off, which obviously are just caked in mud, uh, I managed to get all of the uh, rubber strips off the side, I thought they'd be a lot harder to get off, but they're pretty easy. Apart from this screw head, which is just rusted on, but I'll get that off. Rachel has uh, done one wheel, uh, sanded it all back, wire wheeled it, scrubbed it clean. They're relatively okay. I mean, I, I did spray them when I first got the vehicle just with some steel wheel paint. But yeah, we're going to be putting Raptor paint on the wheels as well. However, with the Raptor paint, because it leaves a texture, it kind of hides those pits and rust areas a lot better obviously we're removing the rust but just where it's eating away at the uh, 
at the metal. Right, I've got the dogs out here hassling me now. You just want attention. I know you do. Right, done the uh, the bumper, the big job. And I basically just scoped over it and just had a look to see if I had any shiny plastic still. Because that's what you're trying to get rid of. But everything, you can see it all, all scuffed up. Uh, I don't know if I can show you because I think I've got it all. <laughs> See, like on this corner, how it's got a nice shine to it. That's what you want to eliminate, and I found that it is right on the uh, on the edges because you obviously sand it here, sand it here. And I was noticing I was missing it on these edges, and they were still shiny. So I. Um, yeah, went over it again and got all of the edges. It's come out pretty good. I'm happy with that. That's uh, that's ready. That needs to be washed and then the plastic primer to be applied before any paint. Luckily, on my vehicle, I only have a front bumper. I don't have a rear bumper, which I'm happy about because I don't really want to do that again. That hurt my hands. Um, but I've just got all the little uh, relatively easy plastic bits to do now. So yeah, it's going to give those a good scrubbing now well it's still raining a little bit but I've come up with a solution using a laundry dryer. It's going to be my drying rack for all of the plastics. I think once I've done those, I'll then bring some wheels in here, the front two that we've done, and I'll um, coat some of them up. But then it's the bumper. I can't really fit the bumper in the garage. So I'm hoping the rain is going to stop. Bit of wishful thinking, I think. Now, I've got this adhesive promoter from Raptor Paint. Annoyingly, I've only just read it. Apparently no sanding was required. Um, however, I have seen people put it on their plastics. It is meant to help, obviously, again, just helps lifting. So I'm not too annoyed. I'm glad I've done the prep work anyway. Uh, so yeah, what I'm gonna do now is give this a good shake, degrease all of these parts, and then spray it. Drying time 10 to 20 minutes. What I've also done is close the garage door a little bit because I'm hoping I could maybe put the bumper across here. That's my thinking. That went pretty well. That was dry quick, I'll give it that. Those first ones are um, they're done. That is everything sprayed. I'm now going to mix up some black Raptor paint and figure out the ratio for it and give everything a, uh, a first coat. It's not as straightforward as this paint in this one. All right, I've just cracked open the black Raptor paint. She stinks. I'm now gonna use my little mixing tool. Um, 
the label was a bracket or something, I don't know. Hopefully it's going to mix it up alright. I think that's pretty well mixed. My god, this is thick. Jesus, it doesn't come off either. Let's just give it a bit of a shake first. Now if I want to fill this up to the pipe. Okay, slowly mix it in, can. So far, so good with the Raptor paint. Uh, the GoPro battery died. All of the plastic has had its first coat. What I'm doing now is the ladder and I'm just going around all of the welds um, and just getting a nice coating on it because obviously the roller, the ruler, <laughs> the roller doesn't um, go right into the corners. So yeah, just sort of cutting it in a little bit. Yeah, so far I'm pretty happy. Um, probably knocked up too much paint, but I'm still hoping to get those um, wheels done today. Fingers crossed. Yeah, the texture looks awesome. So happy with it. Um, this ladder is definitely going to need a couple of coats. I'm worried that it might not get the same sort of te texture. Uh, maybe with the uh, second coat look a bit better and noticing that the roller isn't rolling as much but I think there we go I think it just pushed itself up against the uh, yeah there we go it was just hitting the metal on the uh, roller oh, there we go it's giving a much better texture now hasn't been rolling. Ugh, you bastard. Yay. That's the texture we want, baby. It's gonna look so good. I can't believe the whole van's gonna be like this. Yeah, it's definitely gonna need two coats, but that's cool. Let's go and hang it back up now. Yeah, baby. Let's give you a bit of a clean. Um what am I going to do? Brush the majority of it. Little once round with the roller. See, in the past, I've always sprayed my alloys, so it's uh, it's a bit weird to be uh, putting it on with a brush. But it saves you uh, having to mask up a lot. My hand's actually stuck to the brush. Nice. So I'm just going to cut around these edges now. I need to clean this brush up. I can't. <laughs> I can't be dealing with that. Oh my god. What's that alcohol? Okay, alcohol did nothing. I don't know how I'm going to get this off my skin tonight. It 
So I've only seen a few videos on YouTube of people using Raptor paint but using the roller and hand rolling it all. Obviously a lot of people use the compressors and use the guns and that gives it its texture. I would say it is a hell of a lot easier probably using it with the gun. Uh, obviously you still do like the same prep work. I'll definitely say it's a lot easier using the spray gun and I haven't even done that. But um, it's definitely still doable, obviously, using the roller and just hand rolling it. Again, if you're like me and you just don't have the space or... Well, just the space really. I've got a compressor, I could have done it, but um, I'd have to turn my parents' garage into a spray booth, so it's not ideal. But I have uh, hand painted a vehicle before. I uh, did the Caddy Maxi. Uh, that video has always done very well on my channel. If you're interested, have a look up here now. That one was done with um, military paint. So a lot easier, but we did put a lot of prep work into the vehicle to make sure it looked amazing. Um, even painted inside the doors, so it all matched. Uh, I won't be doing that on this vehicle. Uh, and I'll explain why when we get round to that. So yeah, I'm very much familiar with the amount of prep work that has to go into doing these vehicles when you paint them yourself. This is gonna look mint. I can't wait to get this vehicle back on the road. The um, hard drive filled up last night, so I uh, I didn't film anything else. However, I did get everything coated up, and it looks awesome. Look at these wheels. Spot on. Uh, I think the ladder and the bull bar had two coats, but. I definitely need to still go over the ball bar and possibly the ladder. The bumper only got one coat, so again, that's going to need another coat. But the goal for today, get the front wheels back on, lower the vehicle back down and possibly take off one side and get those two wheels done. Should be a good day. It is grey and miserable, but we'll make the most of it. I need to move this bumper out of the way. I just got my drone stuck in this tree and I had to make this contraption. But, good news, I got my drone back. Oh, what an idiot.